sky and I want to get this video and there's a big rain cloud so I need to get going anyways I'm out here hiking today I've been out here for almost three hours hiking at McKinney Falls and um, when I got up this morning the first thing that came to my head was like I want to go hiking and I haven't been hiking in years so I wanted to go hiking and I came out here and I've been out here for three hours now my leg is killing me <laughs> But I wanted to talk to y'all about something else that I thought about when I woke up this morning. And it is about my clean makeup, clean beauty journey. So I brought some products out here with me because I wanted to take some photos of some of my favorite clean beauty products. And I'm just laying them out here for you to see. So I have everything from their minerals to Pacifica Kale Detox Deep Cleansing Face Wash, Tarte Foundation, Milk Primer, some Tarte Knockout um, Tingling Treatment, OC Anti-Aging Balm, and Burst, the, old, the Shortcut Overnight Facial Peel. So these are just a few of my favorite clean beauty products that I'm using right now. And I woke up this morning thinking, what if I just, you know, just do some research and see how clean these products are. When we're talking about clean beauty. Oh my God, there is a huge rain cloud and it is coming right over me. I have to move fast. Okay, so what I did is I went to the Environmental Working Group. They are a group or organization that basically provides um, scientifically based research on everything from household chemicals to beauty products to food products they basically let you know if something is organic if it's harmful for you if the chemicals in that product are harmful and it's something that you can visit um, you can visit their website below and um, if you have like a beauty product or a food product or um, a household cleaner or something that you're curious about you can type it in their search box and you can see if they actually have any information on that product and they'll basically give you the lowdown on how healthy how toxic you know all that good information that you want to know and with all the trends about you know clean beauty and everything I just kind of want to do a little bit more research because honestly when I go and shop clean beauty products honestly I rely on the marketing that the store has so if I go to Target and they have an area that's you know labeled clean beauty if I go to Sephora and they have an area that's labeled clean beauty that is something that I will um, take into consideration and then I'll purchase the product usually the products themselves also have some type of like non-toxic no sulfates kind of labeled on them so that you can kind of get a feel for what makes them clean and then also many clean beauty products are also cruelty free meaning they don't test on animals so um, I just decided to do some quick research and this is what I found. So we're going to start with Pacifica. I currently am using the Kale Detox Deep Cleansing Face Wash. I got this at Target. It's okay. It really does kind of dry out my skin. So I also use it as a makeup brush washer because it does dry out my skin. So I've been trying to figure out multiple uses for this product so that I don't waste it. Um, I didn't necessarily find this exact product from Pacifica on EWG.org, but I did see that most of their products rated a 5. So the EWG, EWG has a rating scale of 1 to 5, a 1 to 10. So 1 is being like less toxic, the least amount of toxins, to 10 is like very toxic, very harmful, all that. So 5 is right in the middle. Um, it did have information saying that a lot of the products had low enhanced skin absorption, ecotoxicology was very low, and the indic endocrine disruption or disruptors in the products are very low, which is good. Endocrine disruptors are really important because these are things that can affect your fertility down the line. So um, do your homework, do some research, and this website is definitely a good place to start. So Pacifica rated a 5. It's kind of on the high end of the scale there. Burst was the next product that I did some research on and they didn't this is a the shortcut overnight facial peel it's a lactic and glycolic acid peel that you put on at night and leave on leave on overnight and then wash it off in the morning I use this also I got this from Target um, I didn't find this exact product on 
ewg.org but other versus skincare products ranked in the twos and threes so that's relatively high a two is great so it makes me more curious about this brand this is the first product ever i've ever gotten from this brand and i'm more curious about trying more products from this brand because of that rating so next is my milk makeup i have yet to do use this product yet but it's the next on my list i'm going to be doing a video review this is their um, grip primer the box is so disgustingly dirty because of this bag um, but the only milk product i saw on the ewg.org was their cooling water and it rated a two that kind of gives me some faith that this primer might be pretty good this is also my first milk product i haven't bought any of their cosmetics yet so i'm actually kind of excited to try this next is tart i have been really feeling tart lately i feel in tart i first started with their um, rainforest of the sea foundation you can see my video review above if you want to check that out and see what i thought about this um, foundation but not only that, I recently got a sample from Sephora. It's a knockout tingling treatment. I've been using this at night after I wash my face. Or in the morning, actually. I've been using it in the morning after I wash my face and before I put on my primer or my moisturizer. I've been using that. And I also have some Tarte um, eyeshadows that I like to use as well. And um, I've been really loving Tarte. I really have. So I thought, let me just check out Tarte and see what they're up to. So a lot of their products are featured on EWG.org. So if you are a fan of Tarte Cosmetics, I really highly recommend that you go to EWG.org and check out what they have on their website and see if any of the products that you use are listed on the website. Um, a lot of those products, guys, they are rate one, meaning that they're very, very low in toxins, which is great for me because I really like Tarte Cosmetics and... I want to continue purchasing those products and that just gives me more confidence about the products themselves um, one product that I recently got that I don't have the actual product with me because it's a sample I purchased I purchased this primer from Sephora and then I got a sample of the Tarte Cosmetics primer and I wanted to see the difference and I wanted to see if I wanted to invest in the Tarte Cosmetics one because that one was more pricier but if that product is called the Timeless Smoothing Primer you can check out my review video above I just did, um I just did a video re review of that product and let me tell you you're gonna like it so be sure to click the link above um, but that product ranked at a five so right there in the middle of the road but let me tell you a lot of the products ranked at a one so I feel confident in using their products and purchasing more of their products in the future just because so many of the products listed on EWG had a one rating. Um, next is going to be my Bare Minerals. I've been a Bare Minerals um, fan for years. I've been using them probably for five or six years, maybe even seven or eight. It's been a long time. I recently went back to using their foundation. I have used their primer before, their Prime Time Primer ranked at a one so if you're a bare minerals fan um you can get their primer and it's ranked at a one but the mineral veil a lot of times if you get a foundation kit it comes with a full size foundation and the mineral veil which is the powder you put on after you do your foundation and it'll also sometimes come with the prime time primer so you can get all of that in a kit and i'll link it below so you can get that if you want that but that also ranked at a one so that's great. The Bare Pro Mineral Concealers ranked at, can you guess? Three! So, really, really good stuff. Really good stuff. I'm very, very happy to know that their primer, the mineral veil, and their found their concealers are like in the um, threes. Threes and up. <laughs> Lastly, the brand that I have next is OC. I like this brand. They are a skincare brand. They have a lot of natural skincare products from um, like facial washes to anti-aging elixirs to um, body balms, which is what this is. It smells so good. It smells like grapefruit. And I have a video review of this if you want to see. It's up above. But I've been a big fan of OC because I just love how... Oh my god, that's a big bee. Although they seem very natural. But... I wanted to put them to the test as well and on their website um, on ewg.org I looked up three of the products that I use most consistently the black algae mask ranked at a three 
that's really good i like that one the ocean cleansing milk is a two so if y'all are fans of the ocean cleansing milk of oc then they ranked at a two so you're in good hands with that one and then the ocean cleansing mud um ranked at a three i will keep in mind and let you know that on the website ewg listed that the oc reviews and information was based off of their old formulation so if um, OC has reformulated I can't really give you an accurate number because that was based off of their old formulations but knowing OC and the brand and what they stand for I would hope that they would stick to more natural products and keep that natural essence in their new formulations um, but that's all I have for you guys. I wanted to keep this video short and sweet. Just give you all the meat and juiciness that you needed. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you know of any good, clean under eye concealers, drop it in the comment section below so I can check it out and do my own little, do my own little research on that product. And, oh my god. Of course, hit the subscribe button because I want you to see the next video that I have for you guys. I'm gonna get home because I'm hungry. I've only had a banana today and I just hiked three miles. So I'm going to get home and get me something to eat. Thank you for watching. Bye.